First of all, freedom is part of the normal anatomy. Don't start resecting every freedom that you see. That's not necessary. You need to remove freni only when they are damaging. And a damaging freedom is called an aberrant freedom. That's a type of freedom that is attached to the gingival margin and is causing recession or causing a mucogingival defect. So a damaging freedom requires removal. Okay, there's no, no arguing about that. There's no doubt about it. It's not optional. Uh, it's not an elective procedure. It's necessary. So how do we know if a frenum is damaging? How do we know that? Just by looking at it, by taking photos. Photos is one part of it, but you need to do the frenum test. What is the frenum test? An example, you push the frenum with the end of a mirror by retracting the lip first. You push from one side to another, and if the tissue starts to blanch or starts to move, that's an aberrant frenum. So the frenum test uh, is basically holding the mucosa and first pulling the frenum apically, then pulling it side to side, right, left, mesial, distal, and then while you do it, you observe the gingival margin for movement and blanching. And sometimes, sometimes both will happen. Okay, so for example, I'm pulling ap apically, I'm pulling to the left, I'm pulling to the right, and you can start seeing that the frenum is starting to blanch, the, the gingival margin is blanching. So let's take a look at this uh, quick video here. It demonstrates the frenum test. See, I'm pulling the frenum from side to side, and you can see that the free gingival margin is moving. It's opening up right in here. That's an aberrant frenum, and that frenum needs to be removed. Here's again the frenum test. Pull the frenum from side to side. You see how this gingival margin on the left central incisor is opening up. And that's an aberrant frenum, and this frenum needs to go bye-bye. It needs to be removed, and needs to be resected, and that's the essence of a phrenectomy procedure, removing a damaging frenum.